Okay, so there's a grown man smell to this. It's not an old man smell. What is up? Welcome to Cutting Up. I am your host, Mac, and you see the title of this video, so let's get straight into it. This is gonna be an unboxing and review of this Art of Shave box set. So this is Art of Shaving. If you're not familiar with the brand, they are a full service, I guess you could say high-end or artisan barbershop for men's skin products and hair products, grooming products on a whole. Now, they used to have a couple different stores from what I saw online, from LA to New York, down into Georgia and Florida. As of shooting this recording, the only two remaining stores that I see are in New York and one down here in Orlando area down at Disney Springs. You can still find the products. Actually, my wife got this for me in Macy's and it's basically a four piece starter kit. So we're gonna open it up, see how it is and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna shave with it and I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and get into the pros and cons and more importantly, tell you if I would suggest buying this. All right, so getting into the Art of Shave, the first thing I always do, you know I'm gonna get into the unboxing and let you know how I think about that. First things first, they let you know that they have what they price to be about a $70 value in here that you're getting for about $40 US or if you're in Canada, an $85 Canadian for $49. This is a gifted groomer kit and it comes with four pieces. I can already tell you, before I tell you what's included in the kit, one thing that I do see as a con, but I'm gonna share that with you after I tell you what's included in the kit. A pre-shave oil, a actual shaving cream, a classic brush, and then a moisturizer for after shaving. The first thing that I can nitpick at, one of the drawbacks that I can see right off rip is this is a four piece kit which is great but what do you not have included in here you don't have something to build that lather in obviously you can go get a plastic bowl anywhere at a dollar store or something but just include something even if you count it as a fifth piece even if it is the cheapest of plastics, just give it to me because if I don't have it and I open this up, now I gotta go find an extra one. I just didn't like that they didn't include that and they know you need it. I hate when from we are kids, we always knew the whole batteries not included. This is a batteries not included type of thing to do. Now, the sizes on them are not huge. The first one is the pre-shave bottle. These are not exactly tester size, but I'll say they're travel size. Definitely not something that's meant to last very long. It's just something to kind of get you hooked on the brand and then you can go buy the full size. I'm not mad at that. You know, it is not a full commitment if you end up not liking it, but if you do like it, you end up being a little sparing on this. This is seven ounces and this is going to be the shaving cream. Oh, points to them on the box being very simple to open. I didn't need to tear it open with a knife or anything like that. Here is the shave brush. Not very big, but it doesn't feel cheap. It does have a nice little light feeling weight to it. And it's the aftershave. Obviously these two are not refillable, but what I do like is the pre-shave oil is refillable. So this is perfect to become part of a travel bag. So before I get to using this stuff, I just always give them an initial smell test. So let's smell the pre-shave oil. Okay, so there's a grown man smell to this. It's not an old man smell though. There's a difference between the two. This just really smells very much like what it is. A uh, premier barber is using like high-end product on you. That's kind of the smell I get with this, the vibe I get with this. I like it. I don't think it really enhances anything. You'll still have to use your body sprays, your colognes or whatever to turn up your scent game. But this has a really nice like high-end smell to it. Next up is a shave cream. Now to be fair to the shave cream, all a shave cream really has to be to me is not stink because who really cares? It's your shaving cream, right? 
very consistent i gotta say again it smells like a high-end product something that you would expect to be used on you when you're getting a service done i kind of feel like you want someone to treat you with this kind of stuff a nice smell without smelling too old man s this one is bordering on old man kind of smell but you could get away with it again it's a shaving cream as long as it doesn't stink it passes the smell test and let's get into what's probably going to be the longest lasting which is the aftershave bomb this smells very much like the shaving cream so one thing i have to say between all three products is that there's a consistent smell all the way through they don't have any variation in scents so it's pretty consistent is it an exceptional smell is it something long lasting that's going to put an impression on the type of people you want to make an impression on i'm not too sure about that but it does have a high-end kind of pristine smell they all pass the smell test without being super memorable no more delay let's get in to this shave and more importantly once we're done with the shave i'm going to tell you what i think what i liked what i didn't like This is one of the thickest lathers I've ever built. Yes, this is a shaving gel and typically I use conditioners, but just using a brush for the first time, like a shaving brush, this is the thickest lather I've ever built. And it's there's something satisfying about using this. I can only imagine if someone was to do this for me, like if I could get my wife to do this for me or worse, when I actually do go to Art of Shave and get this done professionally, I can only imagine how great this feels because just doing it, just on applying it to myself, there's a weird satisfaction you get from it. I'm not quite sure if this is necessarily to do with the Art of Shave kit that I'm using or just using a shave brush for the first time to apply like my lather, but this is one of the smoothest shaves I've ever had, I feel, with just a razor. And I'm not using a different razor than I usually use. I'm using my same Gillette razor. I just feel like this is a really smooth shave, very clean feeling. I'm still gonna go in with my electrical after, but I'm... I'm feeling like this might be the way to apply going forward is using one of these brushes to build my lather. Yeah, high praise, high praise so far.
is after my shave with the Art of Shaving kit. And I'm gonna tell you my review of each individual product. And then I'm gonna get into what I feel about the product and if I will be exploring any more of Art of Shaving things. So spoiler alert, I plan to actually one day make it out to the actual barber shop and get a professional cut done there. So I will definitely be exploring their stuff in the future. The initial smell test, I did say the stuff smelled a little generic, just you know, like strong masculine smells, professional grade, high end, but nothing really memorable or stand out. That kind of changed as I used it. I did get some compliments from my wife, which I love hearing that she liked the scent of this. I have to say whether it is the Art of Shave, specifically their brush here, or if it's their shaving cream, this was one of the best lathers I've ever had on a shave and it just gave me a really smooth shave. And like I said, the aromatics of it when I used it, my wife was in the other room and was able to start complimenting me on the smell just from putting it on. So I have to give it high marks on that. One of the nitpicks I have to say is I did have to find my own container to build the lather in. I just found it kind of cheap that they didn't just throw a little plastic bowl in there. Just put it in a package for me. But outside of those small gripes, I really like the shaving cream and I'm not usually a fan of shaving cream. I usually like conditioner, but this was enough to say at least maybe I got to go in there once in a while and use this. I have tried coconut oil. I've tried conditioner now and I've gone back to shaving cream. And besides the scent, just the lather that I was able to build on this was excellent. And I don't feel like my scalp is dry, even though to be fair, I did use another oil when I went in with my electric shaver. So I'm not sure where the moisturizer is coming from. From. Now in the face, I did use the pre-shave oil. I did forget to initially use the pre-shave oil. So I didn't really get too much to see how it was going to soften the hair as far as that. But using it now, I have to say again, one of those things that I really like the scent of and it does what it says. Now, is it organic or natural? I doubt it highly. Looking at this stuff, there are some chemicals definitely that are going to be in there. So look out for those if you're hyperallergenic. But as far as what it is intended to do, does it feel like it softened the hair? It was supposed to soften the hair prior to shaving, but applying it afterward, I do feel a softening and a moisturizing from it that is more than just water-based things, products that you normally get, even the leave-ins. There's something about this that holds the beard without making it feel greasy. So I really like that. All in all, other than the sizes and my gripe with the bowl, I have to say this was a very nice starter kit. And again, excellent to throw in a travel bag or to get you started exploring art of shaving stuff. I look forward to getting a shave there in the future. Hopefully I can make it the near future, but we will see. I have to say, yeah, this is a kit that I was a fan of everything in. The only thing that I'm kind kind of iffy on is the aftershave bomb. Now that's not to say that I don't think that it works well or it has a really bad smell. I just have had other aftershave bombs that I feel like are a little bit more memorable. If I was going in to buy these things like a la carte individually, I'm not sure if I would pick this up again if it wouldn't come in a kit. I would go for the shaving cream. I've had an excellent experience with their brush. I'm sure there are other brushes out there that are better quality than this one, but I really liked what I was able to achieve with this. And like I said, the pre-oil, even though I didn't use it at the right time, I was impressed with. This I'm kind of on the fence on, I will say try but for me personally, I would skip this if I was buying them individually. But because it came in a kit, it won't be the last time that I use it. I didn't absolutely hate it. All in all, this kit was worth it. $40 is a bit pricey, but you are paying for the name brand and the experience. For $40, maybe you know double that and go and get yourself that one shaving experience with a professional but this like i said was a very nice thing to get me more excited about going forward and actually getting a cut from them so i'll be looking forward to seeing that and actually seeing how they handle minority hair and our, our textures differently because from what i've seen a lot of their clientele tends to be white people we'll see how well they can fare against this. I'm sure that they are well prepared. This won't be the first black person or minority person that has ever walked through their doors, but we will see. I will put it to the test, but for now, I enjoyed these products. You guys 
Let me know if you get your hands on this kit or any of their products and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Until the next time we're cutting up, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next one.